What's going on everyone? Giannis and Steph Curry are the gold standard in today's NBA of what a player, your franchise face, should be. They are upstanding human beings, they are great faces and role models for you know newer generations, and they are an incredible talent on both teams. And they both have won the last two championships, right? Giannis was loyal to the Bucs. Many people thought he should go elsewhere, that the Bucs weren't doing their job and putting the, the proper team around him. Uh, they end up going and trading for Drew Holiday, and then boom, you know, Giannis gets his first ring, finals MVP, puts up a historic run. I mean, seriously, it was incredible. It was putting up that 50 points in the closeout game. And then this past season, Steph Curry shows again that he is that, that dude. Ends up leading the Golden State Warriors, in many cases, by himself on his back. Andrew Wiggins was huge in moments, and I don't want to take away from him, but Steph, Steph was the guy that was leading that charge. He was the guy that was putting up 30-plus night in and night out for the Warriors to win, because without him, probably don't win. But you had these two that continue to be the model center. Many people think that the Bucks would have been in the finals and these two would have gone face to face uh, had Middleton not gotten hurt. You know, that was a huge break for the Boston Celtics. Now, who knows what would have happened, but it is worth at least an argument, right? That Milwaukee could have been back to back finals champions and they matched up so much better against the Warriors, in my opinion, especially Giannis just being that monster down low that the Warriors would have had absolutely no answer for. Uh, it would have been an incredible matchup. But the reason I'm bringing these two up is because of something that almost happened back in 2012. And that is Steph Curry and Giannis almost becoming teammates. Now, Giannis was obviously drafted in 2013, but there was a trade back in 2012 between the Golden State Warriors and the Milwaukee Bucks, where the Golden State Warriors would have gotten Andrew Bogut and a deal for Steph Curry. But the Bucks turned down the deal because they thought Steph Curry's ankles weren't going to hold up, which was a very big concern back then. Uh, you know, now it looks like the one of the biggest what ifs in NBA history. It looks like, wow, like what could have been? Wow, the Bucks really dropped the ball on that. But you got to understand, back in 2012, uh, Steph had a lot of concerns with his ankles and being able to hold up and stay healthy. And it was like every year he just couldn't stay healthy. He was having issues. He'd miss games. Like it was a real concern. And it was something that that many teams uh, probably would have done the same thing. But Andrew Bogus at the time, he was arguably the best defensive center in the league back then. Uh, you know, Dwight Howard was still Dwight Howard, but Andrew Bogus was just this big body, this you know, full bully, brawly type guy. Uh, he was, a, a, you know, a, a real true center back in a time where he was more effective. Now he probably wouldn't even start. He might not even play very much. Uh, but back then, a guy, a big man that could be in the middle, that clogged the paint, play defense, block shots. I mean, he was on the Warriors still, uh, you know, and we saw what the result of that was. Uh, but the idea of Steph Curry being on a team with Giannis and that those two basically being together for their entirety of their careers at that point, right? Because like I said, Giannis, basically from 2012 or from the year that Giannis was drafted in 2013, all the way to now, they would probably still be on the same team. And who knows how many championships they would have. Like, what would hit? What would have happened with history? Would the Warriors still have won cha championships and titles? You know, like, would Kevin Durant have still went to the Warriors had they beat him? You know, like, what would Steph be a, a guy that many people think is this just all-time great? You know, finally got his uh, finals MVP, is a guy that you know, is, uh, is historic and got four titles and now is in the conversation of like, hey, if he wins one or two more titles, he could be a, a real argument for a GOAT, right? And that conversation could have changed. You know, I, I mean, the, the idea of Giannis and Steph now makes a world of sense and would just be terrifying for teams. But does Giannis become as great as he is if he has a guy in Steph Curry, rather than the Bucks kind of allowing him to grow and mature, do the Bucks end up trading Giannis uh, to go to another team? Because here's the thing, very likely, Giannis still would have been drafted even with Steph Curry because there was a lot of concerns, again, with injuries, stuff like that. But beyond that, Giannis wasn't like a number two pick. He was, in, he was number 15 and many teams didn't think to take him. So, I mean, even if like, let's say, 
for whatever reason, the Bucks would have gotten like the 17th pick. Giannis might have still been on the board at that time, and they still might have been able to take him. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that this what if really could have developed, right? Because, I mean, we've seen lots of what ifs, but it's like, oh, well, if they had that guy, they would have been, you know, a, a playoff team rather than a top, uh, you know, bottom three team. Like, that's a huge change. That's a huge difference. But this, the Bucks still would have been in the same conversation, still would have been in the same sort of realm uh, that we know of. And they would have still probably drafted Giannis. And then does he develop into this monster that he is in today's NBA, which many believe that he is the best player in the NBA. And personally, I do too. I think he is. I think he's the best player in the NBA uh, currently. But still, like, you know, would he be that guy? Or would he have a a Steph Curry where, you know, maybe he becomes, a, 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 he takes on a different type of role rather than that dominant force, that dominant scorer. Uh, maybe he, like I said, he gets traded and he goes to another team. Uh, it's just, there's so many things. Uh, you know, does Steph still have the same number of titles? Does he have more, right? What happens to Milwaukee? Does, does Giannis win more championships? Maybe Giannis has like three or four at this point. Maybe he does develop into the player that we know and love. And him and Steph are just these this dynamic duo that is just, how do you stop those two? You know, Steph is Steph is is the only guy that like is scarier off the ball than on the ball. And now imagine Giannis with a full head of steam and you got Steph just running routes. You know, it just, it, it would be quite an interesting develop you know do they still go get drew holiday could you imagine a steph drew and uh and Giannis type of type of team uh chris middleton like what does he be on like what would the team makeup look like would they build more around steph and maybe go put some other pieces in the the milwaukee team we have now maybe they're maybe they are better and, and just that that dynasty for several years you know, maybe maybe Milwaukee is the Golden State Warriors we know of right now that with Kevin Durant, you know, like maybe Kevin Durant goes to Milwaukee, right? You know, I mean, who knows? Who knows what would have happened? I mean, you could do the what ifs and this, that and the other non like for I could sit here for an hour and probably think of 20 hundred other things to kind of be like, well, what if this happens with this? And so, you know, do like even the Warriors, like another one that I think uh, and let me know down in the comment section if you want me to kind of dive more into like these what ifs. I know some of you really like these. And also uh, like this one specifically, which is the Clay Thompson one. Does Clay Thompson end up getting traded for Kevin Love? And instead of them having a backcourt of Steph and Clay, they have a front court of Kevin Love and Andrew Bogut. Like, is that something that happens? Like, you know, I mean, it just, there, there, it, it could have been this incredible domino effect that could have shifted dynasties from the West to the East and from the Warriors to the Bucks, And, you know, and wh where would both of these players be on the all-time list? Do they have more championships? I mean, obviously Giannis only has the one, but maybe together they have six already. You know, maybe they win five or six. I, I don't know. It would be pretty interesting. I mean, you still would have had LeBron in the East at that time with, like, the, the uh, you know, Miami teams, Cavs teams. But even then, it's like, you know, like the Cavs teams, like they prop, they might not get Kevin Love, and if they don't get Kevin Love, and it's just Kyrie and LeBron, is that is that good enough to stop Giannis and Steph? And we know, you know, that LeBron goes to the Lakers, so you know, it just it, there's so many things that it could have been, so many what ifs, you know. Uh, I mean, even even LeBron's titles, right? If if LeBron uh, was able to get through the Bucks with Giannis and Steph. Who's stopping him? Who's stopping it? Maybe LeBron has, you know, maybe LeBron's like eight for 10 instead of, you know, of, uh, you know, what is it, four for six? You know, like it's, it's a real possibility. It's something that is at least worth a, a conversation. But again, however you feel about it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I just think this stuff is always so fascinating to kind of just talk about dive into and, and just have a little fun. It's always nice to have these little fun videos. Uh, and what do you think? What do you think of this dynamic duo? Do you think that these two would be legendary great, multiple championships, uh, just too dominant for the league? Or do you think like, no, like it, 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 even if you have these two, you still had a lot of competition. Like I said, you had the Cavs uh, at that point, like Atlanta was really good. I, uh, Chicago was still really good at that time too, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, you had teams that were real threats. Uh, I believe this was around the time that Melo went to New York, but, you know, we, we know how that turned out. But, I mean, yeah, you would have had just quite an interesting 
Eastern Conference. Uh, and of course, you know, Giannis would still have to develop. So you're talking, pro you're probably not winning championships right away. You probably have a couple years before you can get into the swing of things, you know? So, uh, but who knows? Who knows what would happen? But however you feel about this, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.